that was probably the worst day I've ever had. And anything else now pales in comparison. Even, even being shot in the face wasn't as bad. I do not know you, but I am your brother. You do not know me, but I am your protector. I will run into a burning building to save your life. Though I do not know your name, I will take a bullet for you. Though we've never met, I, I believe, believe in, in duty, duty and sacrifice, sacrifice of self. Of self. Your, your family, family is my family. Is my family. Your life is my duty. So a good, a good day, I mean, I've had so many good days. I mean, you know, it's funny, part of my, part of my talks is uh, no bad days. I tell people that a bad day is a truly a catastrophic event in your life. You know, most people's idea of a bad day is nothing. It's merely a, a detour and how you thought your day was gonna unfold. But, uh, so I've had tons of good days, but I had a really good day the other day and it came about from my show, the JR Overcome Show. And on the show I had said, hey, whoever is the first person to reach out to me uh, and give me an idea or something they want to talk about, something they want me to talk about related to leadership, I'm gonna send you a free I Overcome t-shirt that I have. And I got this email and it was from a young man who said, I watched your show, I can't tell you how much it motivated me. I have struggled with weight my entire life. And he's like, I'm ashamed to say I am now over 400 pounds and I had stopped living. And he said, you motivated me to finally drive forward and dig deep within myself to build that overcome mindset so that I can lose this weight. He said, I don't, he said, I don't, uh, he said, I'm sure you don't have a 6X shirt that I can wear, uh, so it's okay, you don't have to send me a shirt. So I emailed him back and I said, listen, you're right, I don't have a 6X shirt but I'm gonna send you one of my JR Overcome coins that has all the slogans that I live by to try and build that overcome mindset, to lead always, to overcome all. I said, you're gonna carry this coin in your pocket and every single time you think about wanting to eat something you shouldn't be or not working out or not walking or not keeping moving, you're gonna pull this coin out. And I said, and oh, by the way, I said, I'm gonna order you a 3X shirt and it's gonna be sitting there waiting for you and when you're ready to wear it, I'm gonna bring it to you. So. And he was enthralled. That was amazing. I made a tangible impact in the life of somebody who needed that push to get back into life and start living. And uh, that was a great day. It made me feel so good to know that this message that I have is making a difference to make somebody else's life better. So, uh, a bad day. Um, you know, like I said, I've only had a few in my life. They're the truly catastrophic events. But I, the hardest thing I have ever, ever, ever gone through was when I made those those mistakes as a young leader, and I had damaged my 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 tactical and professional reputation. I talked to a lot of people about credibility as a leader. That credibility is currency as a leader. And if you do things to damage your credibility, it's gonna damage your ability as a leader. And I did that back then. And it damaged it to the point that I had guys that didn't wanna work with me. And that is the biggest, I mean, we in this job, we rely on each other. We're called the SEAL teams for a reason. So to have guys say, I don't wanna work with that guy because I don't trust him, was incredibly, uh, it, it was very hard to come to grips with. I wasn't the person that I wanted to be. And that was the hardest road I have ever walked. I'll be perfectly honest, uh, I thought about killing myself was how dark it got. And, uh, but it made me into such a better person. It made me realize what it truly is to be a leader, what it is to guide people, how to put yourself last, focus on the task and the mission and how to take care of people. And uh, that was probably the worst day I've ever had. And anything else now pales in comparison. Even, even being shot in the face wasn't as bad. My, uh, my wife, the uh, long-haired admiral, is uh, an amazing, amazing person. Um, she actually, I'm gonna interview her in a show coming up. She is one of the most incredible people I've met because she, she's just got a heart of gold. And, it is incredibly tough to go through the journey that we went through. There are so many wounded warriors, and I'm sure there are families that have had cancer or some sort of severe accident, life-changing accident, where the significant other 
gives up and says, I didn't sign up for this. I mean, it happens so often. I've met so many wounded warriors that are now divorced because their significant other could not handle the stress of going through this incredibly hard situation. And, and my situation was bad. I mean, when they sent me home, I was in a wheelchair. I had metal coming out of my body. I had a, I had a stomach tube. My wife had to grind up meds to feed me through a stomach tube. I had a trach. Uh, you know, she had to act as my nurse while she was raising three young kids. And, and never once did my wife ever say, I wish you had never done this job. I wish you hadn't done this. Never once, ever. And I don't know if she thought it, but she never let it shine she, or show. She always had a smile. She was positive. She lived the overcome mindset. And uh, so, yeah, my wife is amazing. I owe, you know, everything to her. And I tell people that your family, so many people take their family and friends for granted. And in those catastrophic moments, they are what is going to make the difference. And so many people burn bridges with their family. They're so focused on their job or career or everything else, they don't take the time to nurture those relationships until finally one day they look back and they're like, oh my God, what happened? You know, what happened here? And then suddenly something catastrophic happens and they don't have anybody around to support them. So love deeply because the only thing you're going to have left in the end is the relationships you built and sustained in this life.